All righty, here we go. Welcome to Jan Hicks Creates. I am Jan, and we are here for my 2020 whip, whip parade. Sorry, I was just adjusting you a little bit. Do you feel better now? How about now? All right, I'll stop messing around. 2020 whip parade. I have somewhere over 90. They are all entered into my X stitch app. And I will admit this morning as I was counting again, <laughs> I lost track somewhere in the 60s. I counted one twice. I didn't count one. I don't know. I just feel like it's somewhere over 90. Um, there's two that aren't in there. Those are my current, the designs that I'm working on that are my designs um, that I don't have entered in the, into the app yet. So I won't be showing you those. And I also, also won't be showing you one that I am doing as a gift. Everything else though is ready to go. A couple of procedural notes. Like I said, er everything is in my X Stitch app. I am going in alphabetical order so that I can keep track of where I am, number one, but also any color changes, linen changes, just so I, I have it pretty much all in there. So I'll be able to tell you all of that. I'm not going to be linking all these patterns below, needless to say. I will try and give you an idea whether it's something I bought off the internet or off the um, off of Etsy, off of a web store, in a shop, you know, that kind of thing, if I remember. I don't necessarily know the brands of all of the, all of the linen, all of the fabric, but I will tell you what I can. Um, like I said, alphabetical order, except for the ones that I am currently working on this month, I'm not mixing them in with all of the rest, so I will be showing you those first. Um, my goals for this, not only just to do a whip parade for you to show you all of the stuff, but also, as most of you probably know by now, 2021 is going to be hashtag no new starts 2021 for me, as well as thanks to my husband, hashtag get shit done 2021. Or for those of you that prefer not to swear, get stuff done. Or as some one of you did say on one of my holiday gift extravaganza videos, get stitching done 2021. So all of that works. GSD 2021. Now, um, so as I go through, I will be making notes in the app for things that I think I have a chance of finishing or that I'd really like to finish um, so that I can kind of keep track. I'm also going to be kind of separating out in my head at least ones that are smaller because as you know, I work an hour a day on smaller ones as well as and then the evening is when I work on the bigger ones. So I will want to um, kind of have an idea of which ones to target as smaller ones for 2021. And I do have a plan in place for 2021 that I think I talked about on my last floss tube video. Um, I don't have the faintest idea how long this is going to take. I may split into it into two if it seems like it's getting to be too long for both of us, for all of us. <laughs> um, I will be putting a mid-roll ad in. Now, I don't know whether I've ever said it explicitly before, but I detest mid-roll ads, um, especially if your video is under a half an hour. And it doesn't matter whether it's, I don't see it that much on Floss 2 videos. I see it a lot more on like the travel videos, the RV videos that we watch. Drives me insane, especially for shorter videos. Having said that though, this is going to be a beast. It's going to take a lot of my time. It's going to take a lot of <laughs> time on my iPad. Not so much editing, but the uploading, you know, the upload speeds aren't the greatest. Um, and so, yeah, I will be breaking it up either into two different videos, but I will probably be putting mid-roll mid ads in regardless. Um, and just see that as a time. I would love it if you would just let it roll so that I can get some of the, you know, dribs and drabs that YouTube pays out to us creators. <clears throat> and that's a great time to refill your drink, take a little potty break, you know, all of the necessities for this kind of insanity. Um, all right. And I think, I think that's all the little procedural notes 
So first, wet my whistle and let's get started. So like I said, to begin with, I will be showing you the ones that I'm currently working on. Those are pretty much all except for one winter Christmas things. I do have a new start. <laughs> I have loved Madame LaFay for a long time. And I have come this close to purchasing her patterns, one of her patterns, doesn't matter which one, they're all gorgeous, for a long time. One of you on one of the holiday gift extravaganza mentioned her again to me and I was like, you know, this is the time. This, you know, I need to start one before my no new starts start, right? So this is the one I got. It is called Le Village Sous la Neige which means, forgive my awful French accent, but that means the village under the snow. It is all DMC, and that is what I'm using. I'm using a 36 count linen. So one strand of DMC over two. The, the linen is actually, um, the color is topaz, and it is, it is by fiber on a whim. So you can see I got, I worked on this two evenings, so about six hours altogether. And I got a good chunk of the church done there in the center. Isn't that pretty? So yeah. Loving this. I don't know that this is going to get, I have a schedule for December. For all the things I'm working on. I don't know if this will come up again in December, but I will probably work on it some more through the winter months as part of my schedule. The next one is another French one. It is from the store um, Clor de Trois, and it is called Par une nuit enchantée. It's the one of the animals in the sled. I will show you a picture here in a second. Well, let me show you the picture first. Everything is on my iPad, so I will be showing you when I don't have a printout of the picture, a hard copy, I will be showing you pictures on my iPad. So that is that. This is one of the stores that I showed you in my floss tube video section. Let's go shopping. So I am doing this on Twilight. Twilight is a Weeks Dye Works color. And you can say this is B5200. This is a, I think pretty much all DMC. I might have pulled some over dyed floss for the animals, I don't remember. Um, I got just a little bit of the sleigh done on the two nights that I worked on this. It's funny, we were watching South Pacific while I was stitching on this. So stitching on this sleigh in winter reminds me of the musical South Pacific now. Go figure. All right, the next one is Winter is Coming. And I am determined to get this one done. If not this month, then in January. This would be one of my smalls. So this is from the Etsy shop, um, Stitching Through the through the Years. If you remember, I showed this one in one of my Let's Go Shopping segments, and I fell hard for this designer and bought a ton of her patterns. This is one of her newest ones. She's doing a kind of a seasonal Quaker series. I love her colors. So most of these are the called for colors or they are something similar. Um, the, the fabric is not called for, it is a little darker. I do not know what the fabric is. It's something I had in my stash that was gifted to me. It is a 32 count. And so you can see I've got a chunk of the lower half done in the, the far right side. Now you'll see that there is um, this gray floss hanging off here. Like I said, these are pretty much all the called for colors, but I did not like, and I like all the rest of them. I do not like how this gray is looking on this fabric. So I need to choose another gray. So that's why that's just kind of hanging there. But the rest of it I think is scrumptious. Look at that little house. I did that last night while we were watching It's a Wonderful Life. Poor Mike does not remember It's a Wonderful Life very, very well. So I was like, we have to watch it. How can you not, I mean, it's been years. He, he's not as big on Christmas stuff as I am, 
but he does humor me. The next one is Hello Snow by My Fanny, and this is another one of the shops <laughs> that we enjoyed together. The Etsy shops. So that is that. I am doing this on a 28 count even weave that has been marble dyed by Mama Loves You GB. And I think this is gonna be such a fun backdrop for this pattern. So the two nights working on that, this week I did get the door done and the white all around the door pretty much done. And you know, one of the things that I love about this, now I am not using, I think the pattern calls for B5200 for the white. I'm actually using an over dot. I think it's like picket fence or something. So it does go back and forth between kind of whitish and grayish. But the shading that you're seeing here has more to do with the color of the fabric coming through, the coloring on the fabric. And I just think that's so cool. I think it's gonna give a really interesting depth to the design. And of course, then the fabric will show through outside of the house with all of the snowflakes coming down through it. So I think that's gonna be really fun. Um, I did wanna kind of apologize. I don't know whether you heard the noise from the heater. It is, it's up to 43 so far here. Um, it started at 32 this morning. <laughs> so we do have little space heaters um, positioned around. And I have one kind of blowing into the, the kitchen dining room area because it's chilly. The next one I'm gonna show you is Winter Wonderland by Historische, Vec, or Historische Stickmuster. This is the one that Shiloh X Stitch MD started as a as a stitch along. So I started this on um, was it Thanksgiving Day? Was it the beginning of November? I don't know. It's a blur. I have an awful lot more to go on it. I am using um, a selection of Mrs. Sadis silks. Mrs. Sadis is the white and the bright red, or no the the white and the dark red. The dark red is, is rouge. I forget what color number the white is. And then the bright red is Vicki Clayton's, one of Vicki Clayton's silks. So I have that little block done and I've been working on the next block over with the trees and the snowflakes. This is the same fabric that I'm using for the um, Par une nuit enchanté, and I think they'll make a nice little grouping. Okay, the next one is um, Basket of Cheer by Not, Forgot Not Forgotten Farm. Make that a little bigger. And very much more prim than anything else that I've shown you than what I usually do. But for some reason, I fell in love with this one and another one of hers um, as I was wandering through Etsy because that's what we do, right? So I, for this, I am using um, a 36 count. Oh, look, it still has the tag on it. <laughs> I love it. Um, this was also a gifted fabric. I had a, got a whole box of goodies from a couple different people and there was a lot of fabric in them. So this is 36 Count Stars Hollow by r, r Reproduction. And I got the basket just about done. We were watching Jurassic Park <laughs> as I was working on this. I know, not Christmas shows, but we love watching dinosaurs eating people. What can I say? So I have the basket pretty much done. I think the trees are gonna go pretty quickly. And then of course the lettering up top. And you can see there's snow there at the top of the basket. So, loving that one. I am, in the second half of December, I am going to be concentrating more on getting done the ones that I think I can get done this year. Um, you know, or, or that I can probably get them far enough so that I can finish in January. So that would be a great way to start Get Shit Done 2021. 
All right, continuing the Christmas theme, I'm going to rearrange things to put the last one, the one that isn't Christmas at the bottom. This is, um, so everything that I've shown you up to this point have been my bigger projects that I work on in the evening. And then I have two that are my hour a day projects and I switch back and forth between them two. One of them is the drawn threads, little bits of Christmas. And since I showed this in my last video, I got the two little word squares there in the middle finished and I'm started on the third. The third one will say joy. I am loving this. I think it's so cute. I still don't have Santa's face done yet, though. <laughs> Got to remember to pull out the floss for that. So after this, there's two more or three more um, little motif blocks, like the first row down on the third row. And again, I will keep working on this to get this done. I love this. Blocks. What can I say? You go there. And then the last Christmas one, and again, this is another one. I don't have the, let me step back for the drawn thread one, the little bits of Christmas. I've lost half of the pattern. I have what I need to finish the stitching, but I've lost all the other pages that show there's like borders and different configurations. And there's just other things that, um, they're here somewhere. I don't need them, but I don't really have a picture to show you. But I do have a picture of this, Home for Christmas. This is Plum Street Samplers. This was a kit for dying to stitch a few years ago. So again, this is another one of my hour a day pieces. So since I showed you this last, I did get all of the stitching done on the house. The windows filled in. Oh, I just realized there's a little bit of back stitch on the window and the door I have to remember to do. And then I got um, a chunk of the brown, most of the brown done on the upper border. So again, this is going to um, stay with me until I get it done. So stay out until I get it done, I should say. Now, last but not least, for those that I'm currently working on, is the Prim Stitch series. So I think I showed you I had the fifth block done and I've made a bit of a start on the sixth block. Um, not as much done as on that as I would like by the 16th of the month, um, but I didn't have as much time to stitch these past two and a half weeks in the afternoon. This is another one of my hour a day projects. <laughs> And yeah, there was this thing called holiday gift extravaganza that took a lot of my time. <laughs> but that's okay. This will this will slowly but surely get caught up. Um it's not it's not hard to stitch these little pieces. This is over one on 25 count with the called for RFL floss. Um I think I forgot to say home for Christmas. It was a kid, it's a 36 count. And the Little Bits of Christmas is also a 36 count. Um, that was fabric I had in my stash. All right, so that is my current stuff. And I'm already on like almost 20 minutes. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I did want to say today is December 16th and I wanted to say happy birthday to my friend, Anne. Anne is, one, is my best friend from college and um, She's just recently started stitching again and has dove in like head first, feet first, all the first. And um, I love watching her grow in her stitching. If you see her out on social media today, and Link is her name, wish her happy birthday. All right, my husband's watch is ringing in the background. <laughs> all right, so shall we get started? Whip Parade 2020. Not that what I showed you now wasn't a whip parade, but you know, anyway. First, and these are all still tucked neatly into their bags and they are going to get tucked back neatly into their bags because I'm not gonna wanna take the time at the end to put them all back in. So the first one is English Flower Garden. Now this is, um, 16th century English family garden is the appropriate name. This is an old pattern from Liz Turner Deal. I have several in this series. 
and I decided it was time to pull it out and start working on it. I started this on January 15th of 2019. And I got these two, these two pieces up here done, little gardens. This is um, 32 count linen. I have a note on here, need to buy color 445. I wonder if I did that or not. <laughs> so there are some specialty stitches in here. Um, yeah, this I, I love doing this. And these two little pieces did not go, did not take very long at all. Um, you know, in each of the little sections, I think will go rather quickly. There's more full coverage there in the center with the flowers. This is going to be one of the ones that I really want to work on at some point here in the summer. So I am going to mark it with, I don't have my glasses on, GSD. This will be one, I, my, my plans through the year, I have each, I have a theme for each month. And so this one will fall somewhere in the, in the summer probably spring or summer like I said forgive me while I rustle the fabric back into the bag because I'm not going to wait till the end to put all these in a thankful life chair arm pin keep by heartstring samplery I started this one in June of 2020. Now my original intent of this for this was to put it on my the arm of my chair, right? I don't need it now with the, the setup I currently have in the RV. Um, so I'm not quite sure this might get gifted to someone. I am doing this on, I don't have the notes, the linen notes here, it's not perfect. Um, this is a 32 count, again, a gifted linen to me. It has a very pinkish hue to it. The lighting in here is very blue today, so there's a blue tinge to a lot of things. But I have the bottom border and that pretty basket. This will not get marked with GSD anything since I don't really need it. Um, it's not something that is high in my brain to get finished. All right, this is a Peacock's Garden. This is the mystery stitch along from Linen and Threads for 2019. I am stitching this on a 32 count linen with a variety of different flosses. And so far, I just have the peacock in the center done. Some of the borders started. Um, yeah. 36 count mystery linen. This is the, um, this is some of the linen that I had toted around with me for years and years and years that I got at some trade show at some point. I haven't the faintest idea who dyed it, but it is gorgeous. And I thought it would be perfect for this. I am not going to put this on my GSD 2021 list either. Um, as much as I want to get it done, it's not calling to me as much as some of the other ones are. All right. Aloha. Let me show you a picture of this if the picture will come up. All right, I'll pull it out while we're waiting for the picture to load. My idea of using the X-Stitch app is that I have all the pictures in there. This is from a magazine. This is from, um, I don't remember whether it's Cross Stitch Crazy. 
This is an Emma Congdon design. And this was my piece to stitch at our monthly um, stitchy get togethers with my friends in Hawaii. It does not want to bring up the photo. Internet. It's great when it works. So lots of tropical flowers and leaves all around the word aloha on. And this one, let's see, I do have a note here. It's in cross, this, this design is in cross stitch crazy um, from April from 2019. Oh, there the picture decided to come up. And I did download, download this through the Readly app. So, isn't that fun? This one um, will get some attention this year, probably in the summer at some point. We do still do our monthly get-togethers. I need to start pulling this out for our monthly get-togethers again. Duh. What a great idea, Jan. Okay, so. Onward to Aloha Hawaii. This is a Jeanette Douglas design. I saw the finished piece for this in the cross stitch store in Honolulu, Fiddlesticks, and contacted Jeanette. This is not available in any stores that I am aware, aware of, so I contacted Jeanette and asked if she could sell it to me, and she very kindly did. So this is one of her, she has a few like regional type designs. And so this, this goes along with this. This was actually, um, this was actually designed for a cruise that they did out of Hawaii where she was the teacher. And so that is that one. I'd say I'm about, maybe a little bit less than halfway done with this. There's a lot of, this is silk flosses. Um, there's some crinic in here. There's beads. This will be a summer piece at some point this year. You know, I have like Bitsy Bobs hidden away in all of my little bags. And I thought, you know, I should really count. One of you asked, I think Rose, you asked, um, how many Bitsy Bobs I have. And I don't really know, but I was thinking I should, I should count um, as I'm going through which projects have Bitsy Bobs in them. That would be too hard. That's like one more thing to keep track of. <laughs> and I already have enough to keep track of. Although that's already like two plus the ones for the ones I'm currently working on. All right. Next, we have American Farmhouse. This was a kit. I was a member of the Country Samplers um, Sampler Girl Club in, do I have the year? This must have been from 2018. And so this is from that. I just pulled it all out and I did not mean to pull it all out. Oh, but look, I have a little Bitsy Cutie in there. See, I have Bitsy Bobs all over the place. Thank you, Kelly. I love your Bitsy Bobs. All right, so their Sampler Girl, um, the Sampler Girl Club for 2018 was all about houses, farmhouse series. And so this is from the Scarlet House. And I have a little note on here, passed to Maria Kutzner. <laughs> I don't know when I'll get to this, Maria. <laughs> it isn't that pretty with the quilts and everything. And so I have the house on this. Pretty much done, if you don't count the roof. So, I don't know whether I'll get back to this this year. I love though the quilts up above and that farm. Maybe I'll make this like a, a harvest or since I'm not into Halloween, it could be for that time of year. Well, we'll put GSD 2021 on it and see what happens. 
you know, I'm going to get done with this and I'm going to have like 85 of these that I want to get done this year. <laughs> and you know, that's not going to happen. Boy, bay. We will do what we can do. Now, I know I said no new starts. And now you're thinking, all right, Jan, you're making exceptions already. I've already mentioned a couple exceptions, and that's like any designs, any of my designs that I have to stitch the models for. And I mentioned um, Serendipity, the, the, um, looking for the picture, the charity stitch along that Fat Quarter Shop does for the Make-A-Wish Foundation here in South Central Texas. That starts February 1st. I will be participating in that. Um, and then also I just found out about another charity stitch Fat Quarter Shop will be doing in, um, in January. So there will be a few new starts, but I'm hoping to keep them very few and far between and just little ones. Okay, next on the agenda is Angelic Vision by Teresa Kogut. This is almost a full coverage one, except for this area up here on either side of the angel head. Everything else is stitched. I started this December of 2019, December 6th to be exact. I don't have my, any notes on this, but this is one of XJU Designs fabrics. This is like um, one of her desert series, light desert or something like that. And it is so pretty. This is a 36 count. And I'm sure I probably got the pattern from Teresa Kogut's Etsy shop. I try as much as possible and it's not always possible, but I try as much as possible to actually shop from the designer themselves, just so that they get as much of the revenue as they can, um, you know, to kind of thank them for their hard work. I do want to work on this at some point this year. I don't know what category, what theme this will fall into, but GSD 2021. All right. so stuffed in here. <laughs> Let's see. Next we have one called BG1874. And this was one of my New Year's Day starts this year. I do not have the linen notes in here at all. And that's rather annoying. Um, I don't know that I'm using the called for or not. Anyway, BG 1874 by Samplers Not Forgotten. Gorgeous, gorgeous design, right? Mm. I am for the most part using the called for silks. Um, well, no, that's a lie. I'm using a mixture of Mrs. Sadus and the called for silks. If I had a Mrs. Sadus that seemed to be close, and I think if I remember correctly for this one, I looked at the called for color online and then picked what I could from my stash. And this is, like I said, I don't have the notes. Um, it's not as Zweigert. It might be one of, le one of weeks before they switch to a Zweigert base. But I'm sure it's probably a 36 count. So you can see, I just got a little bit done of that first alphabet. I hate that the color, the lighting in here is so bad today. But anyways, so just got that little bit up there, that first alphabet done. This one, as much as I love it, um, it probably won't get any attention this year just because, I mean, realistically speaking, I have so many other huge ones that I want to get done um, 
that realistically speaking, I think this one has to wait. So we will tuck that back in the bag. And of course, I did not iron all of these. So I hope you'll forgive me for that. Okay. Let me pull this one out. This one I have to be careful with because the, the needle is coming through. Can you see that? It poked through the, uh, through the bag and I poked myself yesterday. All right, this is, let's see if we can get this picture to be more cooperative. Get the needle out of the bag. This is called the Baby Blue Sampler. Yay, we have a picture. This is by Shannon Christine and Northern Needleworks. So do you remember this one with all the beads on it and the specialty stitches? I started this. December 2019, so a year ago. And look at the whopping amount I got done. <laughs> God. And I had every intention to work on this some this Christmas. Let me fold this fabric up. This is a 28 count navy Lugana. 28 count is the called for because there are all the beads. Again, you wanna make sure with beading that you use the called for count and that way you can be sure that the beads will fit correctly so yeah i was going to work on that this this christmas um i couldn't put my hands on it quickly enough and got all these other things instead so that one will have to wait until next christmas but we will put gsd 2021 on it so that hopefully I will remember to work on it next Christmas. All right, next we have Balmy Spring Day. So this is another Heaven and Earth Designs. I started this. Um, actually, this is one of the ones, there were 11 of my, um, of my whips that I did not have in the X-Stitch app. And this was one of them. This was a start with Carolyn Zook. I don't, I think we didn't start it until maybe May or June. It was supposed to be like a spring start on spring day, but I think I didn't have my floss or something. My act definitely wasn't together. But this is a full coverage heaven and earth design that I absolutely adore. Unfortunately, it will not get any attention this year because I want to concentrate on getting heaven or get, getting um, farewell to anger done. But I did get a nice little chunk in the upper right corner done. So those are the trees and starting into the sky up above the house. I think this little yellow here. Oh, that's still some of the tree, the yellowing in the tree, but the house is down in here as well. So yeah, this will not get any attention this year, but it'll wait for me. I have all the flaws tucked away in a nice little binder waiting for me, so. All right, there is that one. Uh, next, all right. In there. Next is the Baroque Sampler by Historisha Stickmuster. Let's see if we can get that design or that picture to come up. Oh, there it is. This is the big one, if you'll remember. Let's see, a better picture of it. So. This gives you an idea. It's a big one. There's a lot more down below what you can see here. Again, um, Historisha Stickmuster. This is, um, here's the bottom of it here. Let's see, I'll get back here. This is on the Silk app for me, PDF. You can get this as a hard copy as well. This is a German company. Such a stunning design. 
Um, I am stitching it on 46 count straw linen. You can see, look how big this piece of fabric is. Even on 46 count, it is huge. This is Straw Linen by Weeks Dye Works. And I have a few motifs up in the corner done. I am using the, the um, it is charted in DMC and Avera Soie. I am using just a variety of silks in my stash, Mrs. Sadas and Vicki Clayton hand dyed fibers. So, I do not know if this is going to get any attention this year. I don't even know whether I should bother putting GSD. I'd like to get a few more of the motifs done. Oh heck, I'll put GSD 2021 on it and we'll just have to see what happens with that, right? Okay, we'll see. because I'm, I don't do a very good job of figuring out where things go. Oh, there it is. Okay. So this one should have been shown er earlier. A bell pull for all seasons. A, right? I put it under B for bell pull. So this, let me go back up to it, see if I have noted. Oh, I think this is another one that I didn't actually have in here. Yeah. So I was just guessing when I started it. I don't remember sometime earlier this year. It might have been a mania start. So this is from Cross Stitch, Cross Stitch and Country Crafts or just Cross Stitch? Oh no, it's from the Needle Worker. Autumn 1997 is the issue. And so it's a kind of a branch, an apple tree branch that goes through all of the seasons. Isn't it gorgeous? I don't have my magazines, but what I did was um, when we were downsizing the first time, maybe I went through and pulled out all the designs that I wanted to stitch. Um, this is a lakeside, a lakeside linens, I believe. And this might be the same fabric that I'm doing that BG 1874 on. Anyways, I pulled out from my magazines all the patterns that I really loved. And so I have those in my files and this is one of them. So you can see, I got a good chunk of the spring done. This is a 36 count. I am using the called for DMC. Isn't that pretty? This is definitely going to get GSD 2021. Um, I would love to get this done this year. And what I'd like to do, so that is spring. I'd like to work on each one of the seasonal sections. So I have about down to here done. Um, so bring this out in summer and then fall and then going into winter. So, this is getting GSD 2021 on it. And I have all of my floss for this. I think I've mentioned before, I tr I'm trying to keep all of my DMC together, my master together. And so when I have a pattern like this that calls for DMC, I'll pull out, you know, chunks that I, I need to use. And if I run out of a color, I just go back to my master, my master set and pull out just some more. So my master set is now all tucked away in their bags, in their bins underneath the bed. All right. So this gets GSD 2021. 
I don't have my glasses on, so I ended up with <laughs> I ended up with GSD 031. So that would not have come up <laughs> in my search 2021. Alrighty. That actually goes up here. Um out of order too. All right. Bayoon Cat, Bayoon Cat. Do I have an overall picture of it somewhere? I have all the little patterns. You know, Al Forest Embroidery um, kind of, they give you the, the chart all together and then they give you a pa some pages that you can cut up to create smaller segments so you're not like working from a big chart let's see if the picture will come up i do have the picture in here but i don't seem to have a picture of the hard copy picture because it was on the box i think i got a lot of this done and this will be coming up again in march this was a start in march with um for a birthday start with carolyn zook because both of our birthdays are in march so we decided that we are going to pull these back out again in March and work on them to get together. And I really hope to get mine done this year. In fact, I will get it done. My plan is, so my plan is to um, work on, I have different ideas for each week. So each week I'm gonna be working on a design and then like one of the weeks is for for projects that are closer to being done like this one and say i work on it at a week and it's not quite done i will work on it again the following month for that week the week where i work on stuff that's almost done until i do get it done and then i'll start something else but this one this one's close enough that i feel a finish so that is for march of get shit done. Right, Carolyn? We're doing this. All right. Bayoon Cat. Next, we have Beachcomber. So many of you know, I needed a drink. We're coming up in an hour, I think. Um, I love Carolyn Manning designs. I have several of her, she has a series series called Shooting Stars that she started out, sorry, my nose is itchy. She started out with one that's like a rainbow, lots of colors. And then she created more with different colors, different themes, and I got a ton of them. And I've started several. So you're gonna see several of these. The first one is Beachcomber, and that is totally my colors right i am stitching all of them over one on 25 count even weave lugana something like that so this is beachcomber and this is what i have done for beachcomber so far these are great easy zen-like stitches the colors are beautiful you just want to do one more little piece one more little piece so this one will be a summer one here in gsd 2021 and i typed it right that time again 25 count lugana something like that with the called for dmc and pretty much, you know, any time that a pattern calls for DMC, I know I'm known for like changing everything, but if a pattern calls for DMC, I do not change it. Why did you do that? Hmm. All right, next one, Blackberry House. This one is a beast, <laughs> and I don't know when I'll get back to it. So this is Plum Street Sampler's Blackberry House, and I started this for Stitch Mania 2021, and you are just going to be flabbergasted at the amount I got done. This is 40 count um, Lakeside Linens Vintage Pecan Butter. Gorgeous, gorgeous fabric. Okay. 
da 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 and I'm taking that star out <laughs> because, you know, I, again, my own color conversion, right? Close, but not the best. You can see it's a red, but it's a much deeper, much um, oh, more schmaltzy red than this bright red that I've chosen. So that has to come out and I have to find a different one. So this one will probably not get any love in GSD 2021. Sorry. Who knows, maybe I will get so much done that I'll be astounded and I'll be able to come back to ones that I don't think I'm gonna get to. Do you think? No, I don't either. <laughs> there is a whole bunch of 2018 starts uh, that I have in here that, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to get back to. The next one is another one of those, Blessed Be by Brenda Gervais. Just a beautiful, beautiful design, right? I should have a month where um, my theme is home. the fabric for this one noted down. Let's see. This is 36 count platinum by, I think also like slight linen. Nope. Oh, I got this at the stitching post. Yay. That was my home store back in Maryland. I don't have the fabric noted, but this is a 36 count platinum. So this might just be regular old Zweigert platinum. So yeah, got some of the house done. A lot more to go. And like I said, I should have a, a month where my theme is homes. <laughs> so I could work on specifically some of these that have houses on them. And a lot of them have houses on them. I think I am going to put this as a GSD 2021 and we'll just see. The worst that can happen is that I just don't choose it right? I choose something else. Now, all of these that have um, over-dyed flosses in them pretty much have the packets of over-dyed floss in the, in the project bag. And I'd mentioned once that I was thinking about going through and pulling all those out to have them together, but I don't think I'll do that. Um, you know, with the, the dye lots changing and these starting, um, I just wouldn't want to get a different skein of floss and have the, it be a different dye lot and yeah. All right, my next one is the Brick House Sampler and you talk about one with a big house. <laughs> Another Brenda Gervais. I am stitching this one over one on 28 count Mushroom Lugana. That might be the called for. Maybe not. That looks like it has some some dyeing to it. She might have tea dyed it or coffee dyed it. But I, I believe that the model is over one as well. This is a big one. And for some reason, I have it on this like humongous cut of fabric. I probably just didn't cut off what I needed because oftentimes I just want to get stitching. So. That's what I have done on this. This was another May uh, Mania 2018 start. Yeah, lots more to go on that. This one I don't think will get any attention this year. Sorry, you know what? I think I just showed you the back, didn't I? <laughs> I did, oh my God. This is what happens when I don't wear my glasses. Oh my God. Don't you love me? It's about as real as it gets. All right, that looks better. I was wondering why it looks so messy. That's better. Still doesn't make any difference how much more I have to go. <laughs> All right, so yeah, that one won't get any love this year. I need to have like three years of no new starts, but that ain't gonna happen. Ain't no way. All right, next. We'll talk about a little start. There, that goes there. 
Next is Colorful Balloon. Now this is another one of my full coverage ones. <laughs> this is almost ridiculous to show. Um, this is on a 28 count Lugana. The picture is not coming up, so I will show you my start to begin with. This is my hot air balloon one that I kind of watercolored or created, made it look watercolor. There it is. And this is for you. Anne is working on this as well, or she has the pattern and I think she has a kitted. Isn't that gorgeous? I know, I'm biased. Look how pretty. So I have that little corner up there done. Oh, I love that. This is another one of those where I say you should just get it printed on canvas and hang it on your wall that way, but I really want to stitch this. So yeah, again, what do I have at the front showing to you? <laughs> that's, that's that. This also won't get any love this year. Um, yeah, if, you know, fair, like I said, I want the full coverage I'm going to focus on this year is Farewell to Anger. All right, next we have, huh. this is the one that I picked to do when I first came back to stitching. I don't have the date on it. Um, I think it was 2017 when I came back to, to stitching and I, I think I was just looking on Amazon and came across this kit. Other people have done this and actually finished it. It's just called Colorful Deal Deer. Isn't that gorgeous? This is artwork. It doesn't say who the artist is, but she's, she's a fairly well known for this style. And this is totally up my alley. Now, I did get, it is a kit, so I am doing this on Ada. You don't usually see me work on Ada. But there you have what I have done so far. Isn't he cute? Let me fold that in so it's not flopping all over the place. I would really like to get this done, but Realistically speaking, again, full coverage. I want to concentrate on Farewell to Anger. Um, I may pull this out at some point. I think I will put GSD 2021 on it. Where did it go? Oh, for God's sake. I think I accidentally deleted it with my elbow. <laughs> Oh, or something. Oh, no, there it is. How did I get? Oh, I switched from all. That was my problem. Somehow I got over to all of the entries in my journal instead of just the started. Technology, it's wonderful when it works. Or user error. Anyways, I think I will put GSD 2021 on this and just see if I can just working on it for a week right just get it advanced a little bit because one of my so I mentioned that one of my categories for my weekly projects is ones that are further along and that will help me get those done but the other another week is for ones that um, aren't so far along so I can make progress on some of the ones that are kind of languishing so um, that kind of falls into that category. All right, next we have Death by Cross Stitch. This doesn't have a whole lot on it either. This is, I'm working with um, Mrs. Sadis's Rouge Silk. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And again, over one on... I think this is a 28 count Lugana. So yeah, for those that are familiar with Death by Cross Stitch, you know what that is by looking at it. It's got a long way to go. I will put 
GSD 2021 on it so that it can come out to play a little bit. Of course, I'm not going to be getting it done this year. But. Alrighty. Next we have the Do Re Mi sampler. This is the one by um, Silver Creek Samplers. And this one is getting the GSD 2021 put on it. This was started, oh, and, well, this was a birthday start in 2018. Now, um, this is near and dear to my heart because my mother and I loved um, my brain's starting to go, loved, um, you know, sound of music, right? And, um, so yeah, this is, this one is one that I'm doing kind of in honor of her. Just seeing. Now this is, okay, it's a, what, four part series? Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. And then the underneath it has the when you know the notes to sing. So I am not using the called for colors. There is a conversion that I came across that was more rainbow. And so that is more me, right? Um, so that's what I am doing. This is a 30 count Murano in pewter. So this is fabric that had been in my stash forever. So I am using the conversion. The conversion for this is on my website, on my blog. Each one of these little blocks really is a small. And so I plan to work on these, hopefully on and off through the year. I would love to get this one done in honor of my mom. So this one gets GSD. 2021 on it. I think I did G-A-D. <laughs> yep, I sure did. I didn't even get the first two either. You know, I'll go to search on these and I'll come up with like two that actually have it right. And I'll think, I know I noted more of those for 2021. What is going on with this app? <laughs> Oy vey. Are we having fun yet? My throat's already getting raw and I'm only on the D's. <laughs> oh, get in there already. Don't you hate it when you almost catch the fabric on the zipper? Get in there. Oh, that's because I don't put you in there. Oh my God. So I have a project bag inside of a project bag. I have the project bag with the pattern and the floss inside the Garon Toten bag, which is big enough to hold my fabric. Okay. There is that one. Somehow got flipped down further again. All right. Oh, this one's, I almost buried. Okay. This one's an interesting one. So my friend, Ann, not Ann Link, Ann Stachura, I worked with Anne for many years, oh, for a few years. Um, Mike and I both did. She's a good friend, her and her husband. Anne and I were, I've mentioned her before, Anne and I were stitching buddies as well as working buddies. Um, and so there were many lunch times that we would go out and um, go to the local stitching store at lunchtime. So she was teasing me about my whip parade and said she can't wait to see it. And I said, Oh, there's probably a few whips in there that I started back when we were still working together. And I'm pretty sure this is one of them. English Garden, or English Carpet, I'm sorry, by the heart's content. This is silk stitched on 
40 count silk gauze. Yeah, 40 count silk gauze. I haven't worked on this in years. Let me make sure I'm not showing you the back of this one. I would love to work on this more this year though. So yeah, this is a full coverage. I do have, I think it came as a kit and I do have the full kit. The floss is still in a box in storage, but I know where it is. So. I was obsessed with full coverage, intricate detail, way, way back when I was stitching many, many moons ago. And I still am. It's my jam. So this one definitely gets GSD 2021, if I can spell it correctly. I wonder if this is auto-correcting on me and I'm just not seeing it. I'll blame it on the auto-correct. That's always the way to do it, right? All right, let me jam this back in here. Let's hope Mike doesn't come home early today. He came home early yesterday, but I had gotten everything put away in plenty of time before he got home. All right, next, another English thing. This one's English garden. That one was English carpet. This is English garden. Um, Kindred Stitcher, Lisa Smith, just recently finished this and got it framed, and it is gorgeous. This is another one by Samplers Not Forgotten. They just have amazing, amazing designs. Unfortunately, I am a far, far away from being done on this one. I actually have it all wrapped up in tissue paper. Crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. This is not the called for. I got the materials for all of this um, at StitchCon. I got them from Keepsakes, um, StitchCon 2018. And that is my little start on that. So this is a this is a 36 count. It's not the called for fabric. Um, I don't remember. Do I have it in here? Oh, I do. How convenient. This is beige, 40 count, 40 count beige. I have probably probably Wichelt, maybe weeks. I don't know. But I just have a little tiny bit done. I'm gonna go ahead and put. GSD um, twenty twenty one on this only so that I can hopefully get a little bit more done. This would be one of those that would fall into um, got a lot more to go, but I'd like to get some more stitches done in it on it for it with it. I know, I'm not as funny as I think I am. <laughs> All right, next comes what I've been talking about this entire time. Farewell to anger. So yes, it is a big boy. It is a full coverage. Heaven and Earth designs. And I don't... I don't even know that I'm 2% done on this. So this is the upper right hand corner. I am waiting for the picture to come up in, um, in my app. So this is 25 count Lugana called for DMC. Such a stunning piece. It is not going to come up. Urgh. You know, best laid plans. So of course this one that's GSD 2021. This will be worked on the first week of every month. So I really hope to make some good progress on this. Yeah. The photo just refuses to come up, but for those that might not be familiar, the little thumbnail will have to su suffice. That is a general idea of what it looks like. So. Like we are at an hour and 15 minutes. All right. 
Next, we have one of my designs, Find Your Joy. I started this in September of 2020. That's probably when I designed it. Um, this doesn't seem right. September of 2020? No, that can't be right. Maybe September of 2019. I just have a little bit done on it. Oh, sure, you bring this picture up, but you want to bring up Find Your or Farewell to Anger. So there is that. And I am using Mrs. Seda's silks for this. She does have a floss pack for this. So I'm stitching this on, I don't know, I didn't put the notes in here. You know, I bet you this is one that I didn't actually have in here. Um, this is a Next You Design fabric. I don't know the color, but it is a 36 count. Probably her chalkboard or something. Sorry, I don't have anything to put behind this. So yeah, got a long way to go on this. This won't be getting any attention in 2021. Sorry. That's the way it goes sometimes. You know, I gotta say no to some things. Let me see if I can get Farewell to Anger's picture to come up here. All right. Oh, look. No, it's not coming up. We have to move on. Um, look, another Bitsy Bob. This is First Day of Christmas by um, Hello, Liz Matthews. Hello from Liz Matthews. I really had every intention of, for heaven's sakes, I really had every intention of keeping caught up with her 12 Days of Christmas series. That did not happen. <laughs> because, and I had every intention of working on this for this Christmas as well. Um, but I got too many other things. So this is her first day of Christmas. I am stitching this again over one on a 25 count Lugana with my own color conversion, which, you know, trying to keep it as close to what she has as possible. It's a gorgeous design. I just need to work more on it. So this is going to get GSD 2021. I should probably make one of my hour a day things a Christmas one like, you know, once one week of the, of the month. I'll have to figure that out. All right. Next is hmm. All right. Next is another huge one. I know. Surprise, surprise, right? And the way, you know, I'm kind of being careful trying to keep them in order in my bins. So whenever I go to um, pull them out again, you know, in whichever month of the year, they're easier to find. All right. This one is so gorgeous. Four Seasons. This is a Korean design that I got from an Etsy shop by, um, I think it's called Good Day, is the um, name of the company. Oh, for heaven's sakes, wait, wrong one. Nice Day. So. Isn't that gorgeous? Mike loves this one. I really need to put some stitches in it. Again, huge piece of fabric. This is a huge piece from Xju Design 36 count that she custom dyed for me because I needed such a big piece. And I just have a little. <laughs> well, I have more than I did on the colorful balloon. So. This is the far uh, left-hand side of the design. 
just starting on the building behind got the tree in the front mostly done got some of the snowy sidewalk done so over here oh this is so pretty so this is going to get gsd 2021 just so i can hopefully get some stitches in on it for a week When I'm done here, I'll have to do a search on GSD 2021 and see just how many I've put this label on. <laughs> All right. Wrestle that back into its place. The next one is also Four Seasons. This is the Stitch Along by By the Bay that I goofed up on and it got put away. Um, I don't have the completed picture of this handy, but it is this one. So we have summer up here, fall down here, and I got my count off down here. And it looks like I did get, I did take out all of my mistakes. So I need to get back to this one. You know, I haven't seen her announce one for this year, so maybe she's not doing a stitch along this year because by now she would have announced it. I hope she's doing okay. But anyways, I would like to get this done this year. So this will be getting a lot of attention. It is on a um, 35 count fabric. I think it's a Wichelt, um I don't know the color or anything. I think it's just a raw linen um, with the, not the called for DMC. She charts these in DMC and I find over dyed equivalents to use. And I have a ton of floss in here <laughs> to use on it. All right, next. All right, I am coming up, I probably have about 15 or so more, maybe 10 or so more to the end of this bin. We'll be stopping this video at the end of this bin and I'll see what we got going here. All right, next we have Fragments in Time 2020. So that is these little ones. I actually do not own all these yet. I need to buy the rest of them. I think I have about half of them. This I am, oh look, there's another Bitsy Bob. Flamingos. I think that was her summer limited edition one. Um, I am stitching this in Mrs. Sadis floss. She does have a stitch pack for this as well. Not exactly the colors. I wasn't in love with the color combo in this one, so I changed it up and the, the color conversion for this is on my website as well. So, I love these little things, and this will also be getting attention this year in the hopes of getting it done. I don't know how to fit these into the rotation. You know, each little square doesn't take a long time, so I think it would work, each square would work as a small. If I could get one square done a month, I would have it done by the end of the year. But like I said, because I think there's a total of eight in the series. But like I said, I have to buy the rest of them yet first and I don't even know what I have. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll start there. All right, next we have green on green. Actually, next we have Glitter Village and I forgot to bring that over. It's still in the cabinet. So Glitter Village is the, um, you know, the Country Cottage Needleworks one, you know, and I just have the one done. Um, actually, there's still two stitches, so it is still technically a whip, but um, yeah, I forgot to bring that one over. All right, so next we have Green on Green by Rosewood Manor. And this one I got from somebody on Stash Unload. It's actually signed by Karen Kluba, so that's kind of fun. Isn't that a gorgeous, gorgeous pattern? 
I started down here at the bottom. I am using three colors of silks for you on this. And I'm using a gorgeous, gorgeous piece of linen dyed by under the sea fabrics and she can no longer reproduce this, um, this color. I believe one of the color dyes changed, one of the formulas changed and she can't reproduce it. I think it's called umber or something like that. I asked her about it at StitchCon in 2018 and she, she let me know that it's one she can't repeat. It's gorgeous because it's a brown that has these like turquoise bits in it. It's just stunning. And so there is my start on that. So my colors of silks for you are that kind of variegated um, bluey, blue and ice blue, the gold, and then the cream. And yes, this one will get some attention this year. It would be great if I could finish this one. Making sure that all the letters were right in GSD 2021. So pretty. Karen Kluba knows what she's doing when it comes to designing. Okay. Um, next one is called Guiding Light. This is one of the kits that I got from my bobbin when I was um, helping to spread the word about their website. So that is that one. And this is the one um, that I got the hemp fabric for from the, the Etsy shop is called um, Jackson Fiber Arts. And so I found this really cool looking fabric it's not it's not linen it's hemp and it's uh it's either 30 or 32 count somewhere around in there and so i just have a little bit of the the lighthouse done isn't that fabric gorgeous oh it's like a dark green it's looking kind of more blue but like i said my my lighting in here today is seeming more blue um I'm going to put GSD 2021 on this one as well because I would like to put a few more stitches into this this year, even if only for one week. All right. All right, next we have Hibernation Day. Whoops, I'll get back here. Hit the wrong button. This was another Mania start in 2018. This is another Heartstring Sampery one. And this is another one that Lisa Smith Kindred Spirits, Kindred Stitcher has done. She enabled me so much when I got back into stitching. So Hibernation Day, I am doing it on a blue fabric rather than the beige. And this is actually a, um, a witch ult, I believe. So yeah, just the top border done on this and the top words. I'm actually changing the words on it by the looks of it. I have a whole, I have a whole different thing here. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. This one, uh, I don't think I'm going to put GSD 2021 on it. I think I'll wait and see where we are come further on in the year. The next one is going to get, that 
that's that one, that's that one. Is that the right one? What's that? Hold, please. No, that's hoity toity. Hold on. Out of order again. Stray of sheep. What's the stray of sheep? Oh, that's over here. Why are you not in a bag? Oh, I know why you're not in a bag. Okay, History of Sheep. This is a Jardin Prouvé, so I do have the PDF, so I don't have a pattern to show you. Um, I don't have a full picture either of the finished piece, but it is, oh my God, that's so cute. Isn't that lovely? And of course, little squares and little squares with sheep in them. So there's more little squares to this. I think there's two more sections. There's a long one down here and a long one on the side. So this one is getting GSD 2021 on it. The reason this is in a, in a bag, this was just all rolled up, is because I pulled out, it is all DMC. So I pulled out the DMC and put it all back, the, the my tux bags, and put it all back in my main set. And because I don't have a pattern, because it's a PDF, the only thing I have is the fabric. So it was just rolled up from being in my in my storage. This is a 32 count fabric, but I'm actually only using one strand of floss on this because I like the lighter, more primitive look. I think it's still, the coverage is still fine. Um, this is a, probably a, a weeks before they switch to the Zweigert base. And this, like I said, is getting GSD 2021 on it because I really would like to finish this this year. It's It doesn't have too much further. I don't know which um, which month, which theme it will get put under. Once again, I spelled GSD 2021 wrong. <laughs> At least I seem to be catching it. But anyways, yes, this will definitely be getting some attention. Sooner rather than later. So I would love to finish that this year. And next is another one that I am like chomping at the bit to stitch on again. There's not a whole lot of my patterns that just like keep me awake at night. All right, so it doesn't really keep me awake at night, <laughs> but I am definitely want to get it done. And this is one of them. Hoity toity. Look, another Bitsy Bob. Is somebody out there keeping track? I'm not. Hoity toity. Oh my God. This is the same fabric that I used on my Shades of Gold. So it does have that gold tinge to it, brownish gold tinge. It is a Zweigert. I don't know what it is. It's the other one that was in my stash and traveled all around with me from the early 90s. Hoity toity. I do have the color conversion for this on my blog, on my color conversions page. A lot of the colors are the called for, but I did, instead of the, the main background being black, it is a blue black, more like a navy. And then I did pink up some of the oranges some. This is a 36 count linen. And this will get done this year. This is coming out to play in January, definitely. Um, I may make this my weekly get it done stitch until it's done because it's just too beautiful to leave it languishing. Am I right? All right. Next. We have the Jacobian tree. This is another biggie. Teal, how is yours coming along? You are much further along than I am. This was gifted to me by Lisa Richter and it is going to Elin Roethlisberger when I'm done with it. It's not gonna get any love this year. This again, I'm using the 35 count um, raw linen on. 
This came as a kit with, um, what is it, Finca Presencia floss. Lisa had it as a kit and of course she used the floss. I converted the floss to DMC. So this is what I've done on that. So again, 35 count and I am stitching with one strand of floss over one, over the two linen threads. So. Like I said, I, I don't anticipate, of course now I'm thinking, this would fit into her summer or spring theme. Oh, hell. <laughs> GSD 2021. And we'll see. Even if I could get just a few, I can't tell where I am. Even if I could just get a few stitches in on it, it would feel good. I'm not catching up to you, Teal. I know that. I like to roll my fabric instead of folding it, even though it gets kind of smushed in the in the bag anyways, and certainly in these bins that I have them in now, at least it, I feel like I'm not putting as many creases in. <laughs> oh my. Oh, the next one is a lovely one, and I already know when it's coming out to play. It's coming out in June because it is Prairie Schoolers June. It's that pretty one. But I do love the little smalls as well oh, because boxes. So I am doing this anything to put it behind Grr. to put behind it I will try this see if that works over one on this must be a 28 count I think it's a 28 count perman linen oh my god that is so cute I'd love to get this done this year too so yeah June by the prairie schooler I think for the most part, I'm using the called for colors. Although I think I may have changed out the, um, the gold a little bit because I didn't like it to be quite so gold. I don't like that house being gold. I don't have a, it. I am using DMC though. So I hope I made a note somewhere <laughs> if I'm making changes. Oh, I did. I'm not using DMC. I'm using, um, I guess I'm using some DMC and some um, Victorian Motto. So there you have it. That one will be coming out in June. That was a 2018 Mania start. Okay. Is your throat getting sore from all this talking back with me? Mine is. Just about time for a break, though. All right. Next, we have a fairly new start. This will be coming back out in January because I want to finish it. And I'm fairly close. And that is La Vie est Belle. Whoops, I didn't mean to get out of it. And of course the picture, oh, there's the picture. This is another one from the Etsy store, Stitches Through the Years, that I fell in love with. Remember that one? Oh, so pretty. So, I have a lot of progress on this. It's hard to see that bird. can see it better in real life. That's okay. I'm showing you the front part. I know I'm paranoid. So I have the border all done. I have the bird just about done. So I just have all the flowers to do all around it. So this will be a small project for January and this will get done and hopefully fully finished as well. 
because it deserves all the attention. And look, another Bitsy Bob. Alrighty. Oh, this is such a pretty one because all the other ones aren't, right? <laughs> Leeds, House, Leeds House Sampler by Rosewood Manor. This was a January 2019 start. So New Year's start. And this will come out to play again sometime in 2021 as well. Oh, look, I have some floss sticking to me. I don't know what that was from. So I have the alphabet all done on the top and the little motifs and I'm starting to move down into the center. This is the called for everything. The fabric is called for 32 count helix by Picture This Plus and it is the sulky petite threads. Again, when you love something so much because of the way it looks, don't mess with it. So, oops throwing the sulkies around. So the alphabet's all done. Those are done. I'm working on this and starting down here. So yeah, this will, this will get some attention this year. I'm not sure how I got back there. Oh my God, where are Somehow I managed to get over back on, over onto inventory. I love my X-Stitch app. My elbow seems to do strange things with it though. Okay. Leeds House Sampler by Rosewood Manor. All right, the next one and this is the next to last one in this bin, so we will be taking a break, is La Fleur, La Fleur Chic by By the Bay. This is the one, find the picture here. This is the one that includes both um, cross stitch and wool applique. So I started this one last year. June of last year, to be specific. I have all the wool and everything for it. I am stitching this on, hmm, looks like a 32 count, witch out or permanent linen. Using my own color conversion, but similar to what is the given so I have the vase pretty much done just have a few bits and bobs to finish there on the bottom and then all the leaves and then the wool applique flowers so yeah I'd like to spend some time on this one as well and make some progress on that Will I get it done? I don't know. I don't know. I would really like to get to the um, to the wool applique though and give that a try. I haven't ever done any of that. So last but not least in this bin. is a small one called Louise and Harry. This was another Mania 18 start. And you know, I say it's a small one, but there's a lot of stitching down in that grass and in that sheep. I'm stitching this on a 36 count. I have the grass and the bottom checkerboard just about done. 
This will get some attention. I tea, dye, tea and coffee dyed this fabric. So that's where the staining came from. This will get some attention this year in the hopes, and, and I will make this one of my smalls. Maybe I need to have a sheet month. I have enough sheet patterns. Have a sheet month and, and do all my sheet patterns and see how many sheep I can get done. That sounds like a good plan. All right, I will do that. So Louise and Harry will get some attention because that needs to be off of my list. All right, guys, that is all for part one. I have a bin to put away and another bin to get out. I am at, hold one, I'm at an hour and 42 minutes. So I think that's enough time to take a break, split this in half, do two separate videos. So yeah, I will be putting a mid-roll ad in this. You will have already seen it, so you're gonna be like, duh. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you'll come back tomorrow for more. I hope I haven't bored you to tears. Um, but I'm gonna get this one uploaded and then we'll do part two either tomorrow or Friday. So stay tuned. I'll talk to you soon.